Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we saw the relationship between the phase voltages and the line voltages. We also saw how we can find the phase currents in the load. And now we're going to take a look and see how we can find the line currents feeding the load. And so what we're going to do to do that, we're going to use Kirchhoff's current rule at each of the three nodes at A, at B, and at C. So what we're going to do is look at each of the nodes and determine the currents in and the currents out of each node because using Kirchhoff's rules we know that the sum of all the currents entering the node must equal the currents leaving the node. So looking at A we can see that the line current IA enters the node, the phase current CA enters the node and the phase current AB leaves the node. So what we can see, say then is that at A, at node A, we can say that the current IA, which is the line current entering the node, plus ICA, the phase current entering the node, is equal to IAB, the phase current leaving the node, which then means that IA is equal to IAB minus ICA. And so that's how we can determine the line current IA. We do the same for the next node at B. We can see that at B we have the line current IB entering the node and the phase current IAB. So we can say that IB plus IAB equals the current leaving the node, which is IBC. Which means that the line current IB can be found by taking the phase current IBC and subtracting from that the phase current AB. And so now we have an equation that tells us what the line current is IB. And finally at node C we can do the same thing. At C we can see that the line current IC enters the node. We can also see that the phase current IBC enters the node and that equals the current leaving the node, which is ICA. And so therefore we can say that IC, the line current IC, is therefore equal to the phase current ICA minus the phase current IBC, and now we have an equation for the line current IC. Now notice that we already know how to find the three phase currents by knowing the voltage, AB, BC, and CA, those are the the line voltages, and those are derived from the phase voltages with this relationship right here. If we know the impedances of the balanced load, then we can find the currents IAB, ICA, and IBC, and from that we can find the line currents IA, IB, and IC. It is also good to know that the line current lags the phase current by 30 degrees, and it's also good to know that the line current IL is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase current in magnitude. So we have the magnitude relationship, and we have the phase relationship, so if we can find the magnitudes of the line currents, or we can find the magnitudes of the phase currents, we know the relationship between the two, we also know the phase angle difference, so we can also find the phases. If we know the one, we can find the other, and that is how it's done.